Welcome to episode 3 of module 6 genetic change. We are finishing this video series with inquiry question 3. Does artificial manipulation of DNA have the potential to change populations forever? Our syllabus reference for this video will investigate the uses and advantages of current genetic technologies, compare the processes and outcomes of reproductive technologies such as artificial insemination and artificial pollination, assess the effectiveness of whole organism cloning and gene cloning, and evaluate the benefits of using genetic technologies in agricultural, medical and industrial applications. Our learning intentions for today's video will outline the use and advantages of gene therapy and assisted reproductive technologies, compare the processes of artificial insemination and artificial pollination, outline the process of somatic cell nuclear transfer, assess the use of whole organism and gene cloning, and evaluate the benefits of genetic technologies in agricultural, medical and industry. Genetic technologies are a branch of biotechnology that are involved in the manipulation of the DNA and genes. Current genetic technologies that we'll look at in this video are gene therapy and assisted reproductive technologies such as IVF. Gene therapy involves modifying or manipulating a person's genes to treat or prevent diseases. The goal of gene therapy is to introduce a functional gene into the patient's cells to correct a genetic mutation or provide a new function that can help treat a specific condition. The process of gene therapy typically involves the following steps. One, identifying the faulty gene that is causing the disease. Two, introducing a functional gene into the patient's cells using a vector such as a retrovirus. Three, delivering the vector carrying the functional gene into the target cells where the gene can be expressed and produce the desired protein. Advantages of gene therapy include the potential to treat genetic disorders at the root cause by correcting the underlying genetic mutation, the ability to provide long lasting or permanent treatment effects, and the potential to target specific cells or tissues, reducing side effects on other parts of the body. Disadvantages of gene therapy include safety concerns related to potential side effects or unintended consequences of gene manipulation, the challenges in delivering the gene to the target cells efficiently and effectively, and the ethical considerations related to genetic manipulation. In vitro fertilization, or IVF for short, is a reproductive technique used to assist people with conceiving a child. It is used to treat infertility occurring in either a man or a woman, or to help people who are single or in a sexually gender diverse community to start a family. There are two main types, IVF and a similar process called intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI for short. In IVF, eggs are taken from a female and placed in a Petri dish with sperm. The sperm naturally attract towards the eggs and burrow to result in fertilization. This is performed by an embryologist in strict temperature regulated settings. The fertilized eggs are placed in incubators to grow and can be transferred to a uterus after ovulation between three to five days old. ICSI is a similar process and is used in the case of male infertility. A catheter is used to inject sperm directly into the egg. Advantages of IVF are a higher chance of creating a fertilized embryo than by natural conception and assist people with difficulties falling pregnant and embryos can be tested for genetic disorders. The disadvantages are the costs can be high, especially if donor gametes are needed. The stress and emotional support can be quite heavy for single and or couples and it cannot guarantee that a woman will be able to fall pregnant and carry to term. Comparing artificial pollination with artificial insemination. Both artificial pollination and artificial insemination both differ in their processes. Artificial pollination involves removing the pollen, that is the anther, mechanically and brushing the pollen onto the stigma of another plant. Artificial insemination, on the other hand, is collecting semen from a male animal such as a bull and injecting it into the uterus of a female animal using a catheter at the time of ovulation. 
Some other differences are that artificial pollination is used with plant varieties to create hybrids and help maintain or improve crop quality. In terms of similarities, both result in genetic improvement. This means the selection of male donors or pollen sources is chosen to introduce desired characteristics into the breeding population. Both are forms of controlled breeding and both can increase the productivity of livestock and crops. Somatic cell nuclear transfer is a type of genetic technique used in whole organism cloning. The process of somatic cell nuclear transfer is as follows. A somatic cell is selected as the donor cell. An egg cell is obtained from a female donor cell and the nucleus is removed through a process of enucleation. The nucleus of the somatic cell is transferred into the enucleated egg cell. Both are then fused together using an electric impulse to create an embryo. The developing embryo is then cultured in a lab for several days. The embryo is then implanted into a surrogate mother for further development. Advantages of somatic cell nuclear transfer include that it produces genetically identical copies of the parent with favourable characteristics. Cloning animals on a large scale could provide higher yield of products, thereby lowering the cost to consumers. Disadvantages means that they could lower genetic diversity, could pass on an unknown somatic mutation and the ethical issue of playing God. Dolly the sheep was a groundbreaking scientific achievement in the field of genetics and biotechnology. She was born on July 5th, 1996 in Scotland and was the first mammal to be cloned using somatic cell nuclear transfer. Dolly was cloned from the somatic cells of a fin dorset ewe and demonstrated that genetic material in a somatic cell could be reprogrammed to develop into a fully functional organism. Dolly's health deteriorated when she was six years old due to progressive lung disease that resulted in her being euthanized. Dolly's cloning was a significant milestone in genetics and biotechnology. However, it raised ethical considerations surrounding the use of cloning technology, including the potential for human cloning genetic engineering and the welfare of cloned animals. In previous videos, we've looked at recombinant DNA and PCR as biotechnologies used to produce multiple copies of genes. When assessing the effectiveness of this technology, we can look at some of its advantages and disadvantages. Some advantages include allowing researchers to study the structure and function of individual genes by isolating and manipulating them in a controlled environment has led to the development of important research tools such as gene libraries and gene knockout models, which have advanced our understanding of genetics and disease mechanisms, and has been used in the production of recombinant proteins, hormones, enzymes, and vaccines, leading to the development of valuable biopharmaceutical products. Some disadvantages include its time-consuming and labor-intensive process, requiring expertise in molecular biology techniques. The process of gene cloning can disrupt the normal regulation of genes, leading to unintended effects on gene expression and cellular function. And the use of gene cloning in genetic modification and cloning of organisms raises ethical considerations related to genetic engineering, biodiversity and environmental impact. Genetic technologies in agriculture, medical and industrial. Genetic technologies have revolutionized medical applications by enabling the diagnosis, treatment and prevention of a wide range of genetic disorders and diseases. Artificial insemination has helped overcome fertility problems, allowing humans to conceive a child. In terms of cloning, it has helped to preserve the eggs of the northern white rhino for future stem technology and IVF to improve their endangered status. Gene cloning has helped determine the effect of environment on gene expression and allowed scientists to examine mutations that lead to disease and understand the function of particular genes. Genetic technologies have transformed agriculture by enhancing crop productivity, quality and sustainability. Artificial insemination has meant that animals with highly favourable characteristics are producing offspring that improve high quality food and efficiency of food production. 
The use of transgenic organisms such as Bt cotton has helped farmers improve crop yield and reduce the use of pesticide, which decreases the environmental pollution and promotes biodiversity. The use of artificial pollination has allowed for faster and more precise crop improvement, accelerating the development of new varieties. In industrial applications, genetic engineering can be used to develop microorganisms or plants that are more efficient at producing biofuels such as ethanol or biodiesel, leading to a more sustainable and renewable energy source. By harnessing the power of genetic technologies in industrial applications, companies can reduce their environmental impact, promote sustainable practices, and contribute to a more resource efficient and eco-friendly industrial sector. It has also lowered the cost of production in relation to large scale enzymes to produce products such as antibiotics. And that is the end of episode three and the last video in this module six series. Thank you for watching.